<laughs> All right, welcome to part 13 of our Grand Theft Auto self-driving car Python tutorial series. So what we have at the moment is uh, the latest version of the uh, self-driving car slash motorcycle slash whatever. Um, so, um, what I want to do is just kind of show what I got to get up to this point. Obviously, this is not the best AI in the world, um, but, you know, it works. So, first of all, let me go ahead and uh, put myself somewhere useful again. Let me grab another motorcycle. Hopefully nobody hits me. I pick this up. And we need to put on our helmet for safety. <laughs> okay. So let me pause this for now and let's talk about uh, what we got up to this point. So here is the tensor board for this. Um, basically I got 300,000 training samples. That's this purple line here. Um, and that was done. Oh, I've got the screen in the way. I, I made it big. Let's see. What can I do to get rid of this? Maybe that. There we go. So it's behind there. And I just pulled up a second screen, basically, that just mirrors uh, this one so I can make it a little bigger uh, since it's so, so tiny on my actual screen. Anyway, let me get rid of that again. On, uh, on TensorBoard now, uh, the purple line is that is the main one. The blue line is the original just kind of eight epochs of training that just kind of shows you how well it did. Again, just like usual, the, the end of it seems to do better, but this one also has 300,000 training samples, whereas this one, this blue line, if I recall right, had about 100,000 training samples. Um, but then I decided, no, nah, let's go ahead and shoot for the moon <laughs> to about 300,000. So even as we take away smoothing, we can see, yeah, initially it was so volatile, but towards the end, it really started to smooth out. So anyway, and then same thing, loss was pretty volatile even all the way up until the very, very end, but smoothed out, it did pretty good. So, um, so yeah, so that's the training data. I will put a link in the description for my training data. Um, I might also just host the model. The model took a really long time to train. It took about I'm trying to think, maybe uh, 15 hours, or I guess that's not really a long time, to be honest, but <laughs> it took about 15 hours of just running this, and that's on the Titan X, so, um, so yeah, and then if you don't have a GPU that you can actually train this with, like if you needed to train it on your CPU and your RAM, yikes, that would take a year. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, if you need the model, cool, you probably could run this live on your CPU, Ugh, I don't know if I'd want to, um, but you, you probably could. I could demo it. I think you can do like with, uh, I don't feel like demoing that live, but, um, but yeah, you can force the, you know, it to run on the CPU, but eh, not going to do it anyway. Um, so yeah, so that's that, that's the data. Like I said, I'll put links in the description. If I forget to, someone remind me because as of my recording this, I haven't uploaded anything. Um, so I'll probably forget <laughs> now. Um, to the actual game. As you can see, the AI is not perfect. It still has a lot of little things that we, I want to fix. Um, mainly, like, if we look here, we can kind of see, although now it's not going to show, but let me let me just run this for a moment just so I can show you. So I have it on pause, so if I press T, it'll start hopefully running. There it goes. Um, so same as before, um, the middle one is to go straight, and then you've got left is the zeroth element and right is the firstth element. Um, and it's doing pretty good. Ooh, that rock was relatively benign. That one was not. <laughs> um, if it's not clear, I've also kind of forced my guy to stay on so I can't be ejected from the bike. I'm also invincible. It's really annoying for testing and training and such if you, uh, if you just keep crashing and having to reset and all that. Let me turn the vo uh, volume down a little bit. Um, okay, so anyways, um, now that we've got some sample data here, <laughs> so this would be how much you want to turn um, left, 
how much you want to go straight and how much you want to go right. And kind of what I was hoping to, I still don't have it yet, but if we could have PID control, <laughs> that's what we need, man. It's what we need, everybody. Put your minds to it. Let's do it. <laughs> that's the next thing I'm going to personally be working on. And so my thought is that we can take these outputs and actually have these outputs set the PID. So in this case, we'd be almost 100% turn um, turn left, for example. But in some of these, like you wouldn't be. You'd be like, here, 73% turn left. 20% forward and then so much uh, turn right, which would probably maybe subtract this from the turn or just ignore this. I don't know. I'd, I want to test it. Um, but anyways, I'm, I'm thinking we can do that with the data. There's all kinds of combinations and algorithms we could run on it, um, but that's what I think we probably should do. Other than that, the other, other thing I've kind of changed here is um, in the code. Um, I tried a few things. I tried to slow it down, and then I decided there's no reason to slow down. <laughs> That's not our problem. Um, so I haven't done that. Basically, what we're what I've got coded here is just because I was finding that it was maybe sometimes not pressing it long enough, and then other times it was pressing it way too much. So I've forced a sort of sleep here. So basically, it presses, and it will sleep for that time and hold that for 0 0.09 seconds. Again, I feel like if we had PID control, um, this would handle for the, the reason why I'm doing this is because every time we're turning, we're turning at a full 100%, but also the training data was me personally pressing the keys, right? And I just, I can't act as fast as a machine can. So that's the tea, you know, this tea time. Now, if we remove this sleep, um, the frames are actually really good still. So running off the GPU, let me just give you just an idea. Um, we'll output this. Oh, we're, we're running the model already. For some reason, I've noticed that the model, um, after like multiple starts and stops, it stops working and like it's clearly not clearing the memory, <laughs> uh, which is really frustrating. But uh, let's just run this again now and hopefully it'll print out the, uh, the sleeps. But it's going to drive probably like crap because we don't have to sleep anymore. I'm just, I'm moving it right now, just for the record. Okay, I'm off. It's off on its own now, hopefully. Now, see, here we go. So I wonder if it's just fail. Oh, and then Python failed. Interesting. Error retrieving driver version. Permission denied. Could not open driver path. For me. So it's obviously like, like maybe in use or something. Like it thinks it's being used, even though it's not. But... I don't want to close the program, but I'm pretty sure it's going to close on us. Let's see if we can just do this. Oh, nice. I didn't think I could get away with that. Anyway, if someone knows what I need to do to like clear out the memory or something, uh, do let me know, because this, this keeps happening. It's, it's very irritating. It wasn't happening to me earlier. Let's see if this works this time. Yeah, you stop yourself. Please! Damn it! <laughs> Gosh! I really want this to uh, not do this. That would be ideal if you stopped being a little, you know what. Hmm. Okay, well, let me pause and get this to work, and then I will re recontinue, I suppose. Okay, I think we're good to go. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, so I'll press T now, and, he, and he's off. Okay, this one has no sleep, so we can kind of see the difference. It's actually not too bad. Oh, but he's releasing the key immediately, so he's not going to make very good turns. Yeah. So he's kind of trying to avoid this stuff, but he's not very good at it. Oh, that same rock! It got us again! Anyway, um, I'm just, I'm fixing it now. It's not the, as long as these little things aren't updating at the bottom, it's me controlling it, by the way. Uh, anyway, so now we can see loop took um, 0.13... Interesting. It was even faster than that, I thought. Huh. So actually, we're still only getting about 10 frames a second. For some reason, I, I did have that be faster for me. Um, are we doing the right screen grab? No. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, so that's part of our problem right there. So let's go ahead and change the screen. So it's from... I think it's grab screen. So from... From... Grab screen... Import... Oops. <laughs> I started the AI. <laughs> Great. 
import grab underscore screen from grab screen import grab screen and then screen should equal grab screen oh actually I still want that for this thing so actually let's just say screen equals grab screen and in fact we're gonna have to stop this anyways unfortunately and then it was region I think region equals so region equals uh, we'll just pass in this cool okay so that should be a lot quicker uh, great And let me run that real quick to make sure. Of course, I don't really want to run it in here. I guess if it works, I'll just switch over again. Or maybe I just want to show it momentarily. I kind of feel like it's not going to work, but we'll see. Yeah, see, it's like kind of stuck right now. Although we probably press T. Let's try again. No. No, it just wants to die. <laughs> okay, uh, so let me close that. I don't still have the other shell open, so I have no idea why why it's not clearing. It's really irritating. I wish I, I wish I knew of a way to just force it to clear that memory or something or whatever is happening. If somebody knows, like let me know. Um, anyway, yeah, let me let me pause it until I can get it to run again. Okay, and we are back. Okay, now with the new grab screen function, it's 0 0.06 about ish. Press T again. <laughs> this isn't actually the one I want. I like the one that sleeps better, but anyway. Okay, so uh, with the repaired uh, grab screen, we can we can process frames at like you know more like 20 frames a second or so. So, um, so yeah, so that's that. Um, let me think if there's anything else I really want to cover on this exact algorithm. Like I said, I'll put it up and, um, and then kind of share my updates as I go. Right now, I've just got some turn thresholds and stuff like that just to kind of make sure that we're, you know, on the right track as far as whether or not we should actually take a turn. Um, if the th forward threshold is above 70, we're just going to go forward. Otherwise, as long as the turn threshold suggestion is basically above, or the turn threshold is beyond 0.75, so like 75% certain that it wants to take a turn, um, then we'll take a turn. But we don't want to take a turn if we're only like 60% certain or something like that. So let me bring back the sleep time. Save that. And probably this, I don't even know what we'll have to do to get this to come back. But anyway, I just wanted to show that it is at least uh, 20 frames a second. Okay, and now for your viewing pleasure, let's just let this thing run for a little bit. It's not the best, uh, but let's see how it does. So, T. So this doesn't end well. He's got to get out of this lane. There we go. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh man. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm I'm not sure. I think he got just lucky there. But uh mm. Yeah, really wants to eat that meat in there. Oh no. Oh ooh. You don't want to be here. I think I'm gonna have to get out of this one. <laughs> Change here is probably going to throw it for a loop, but we'll see where it goes. Ooh, right into the rear end of that car. Beautiful. Nope. Okay. It's fine. He's... Okay. He's probably going to want to stay on this side because of that divider over there. Nope. Oh, gosh, that was almost painful. And I'm sure that was on purpose. <laughs> Miss him. Thank. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, what? I think he's trying to hit every vehicle on the road. 
Sometimes I think you just... Oh, that was a mistake. That's not good. <laughs> uh. Whew. Oh dear. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> Why are you in the oncoming traffic? <laughs> Get out of the oncoming. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Questions, comments, leave them below.